Good day, folks. Now, how do you obtain enamel wire on the cheap? I, magnetic wire, some people call it that. But in my case, uh, I strip out old transformers like this. They are all put together in a lattice. Hopefully, my camera can pick that out for you. Strips, very fine strips of what of a steel, like wafer thin. If you know how to knock these out with a bit of practice you can find these will come apart and it will release such lovely gems as uh, an awful lot of wire which you can use for free. Let's have a look. Well there's our actual transformer itself. Okay, so now we've got this thing stripped down, as you can see, it is a lump. I mean, it really is a lump. It's heavy, it covers my hand. <laughs> um, it saved me quite a bit of money. That'll keep me going probably for possibly up to, up to about two years of projects at least. That's a real good one. I've got quite a few in stock, but this one's certainly one of the better ones. Um, a nice gauge of wire. And incidentally, the gauge on this side, I have actually built feeders for a friend of mine who runs 400 watt through an end-fed halfway, built on the materials the same thickness as this. So for enamel wire to be so expensive for the heavier stuff, and this has got a lot of it here, I feel like I've hit the jackpot. Anyway, so at least I've shown you how I obtain some of my materials, and I hope it gives you inspiration. At the end of the day, you can do loading coils, you can you know, make your transformers and, and all sorts of various things on the cheap. Anyway, that's enough of my ramblings for the day. hope you enjoyed the video to see how these actually come apart. I've got a bit of cleaning up to do now, as you can see. And I uh, hope to see you again soon.